it's with Spurning now, and I am Paintbrush. Today is another matchup as we welcome you back for another WMBI of the season for its regulation matchup. This next matchup is we're ready to have you on the next side for game two as we have the Chicago Sky facing against the New York Liberty. The biggest thing about New York Liberty is when if the Statue of Liberty is in New York City, the biggest of these statues that was being designed and made in a part of a state to bring things in action. And the sky, however, the other side of the team, has brought a Sears Tower also with an observation deck. It is pretty insane to have a great downtown view here in a city in between New York and Chicago. But now, this matchup is ready to bring it on to its next duration of the game. Starting off for the Chicago Skies. For the Chicago Sky, for this head coach, we do have one that we have to bring it on here. Teresa Rubberspoon is the new head coach for the Chicago Sky, and with his new coaching start with his opportunity after spending the last four years with the assistant of the New Orleans Pelicans. But now, he's ready to do it. We have this Marina Maverick, Diamond Details, Michelle Oyewa, Isabel Harrison, and Elizabeth Williams. It's going to be a one matchup to start off for Chicago Sky. And now for the New York Liberty, the head coach is Sandy Brundelli. As a team faced against the Dallas Wings, she has been trying to look at how we'll make the role model to get into work. We have Ms. Courtney Vandersloot, Sabrina Oistu, Vanilla Lanny Hamilton, Brina Stewart, and John Creole Jones. Now it's time to send you down to Barclay Center. We'll see you all later for the, for the post-game show, and after the halftime show, we will get back into the yard. Now, with the next commentaries on the crew, they are here at Barclays Center. Let the games begin. Enjoy, folks, for Game 2 of the WMBI. New York, New York Liberty. Skyler Diggins Smith, a little older than Sabrina. Skyler has that pure point game as well as the ability to score a lethal combination. Ganescu, that's good. The shot that looks almost automatic for Ganescu has total confidence in her shooting ability. Here's the Shields. Rebound New York. The he was ready for her that time, and they had to be. She is strong in the bank. Ganescu outside. It's good. 44. Now here's 
Mabry. Pass to Anya Nwede. Outside Williams. Mabry. Harrison in the post. Defended by Stewart. Now Jones. Yasku outside. Andersloop with it. Launches a three. It's all in by Harrison. And we're just about a minute and a half into the first quarter. Outside for Mabry. Pass to Anya Nwede. Down to five on the shot clock. It's rebounded by Courtney Vandersloot. Yeah, she's not necessarily a strong interior presence, but she's got to finish those chances when she has them. Now here's Vandersloot. Back to Jones. Yanescu outside. He can't hit that time. Some solid defense from Diamond to Shields. Outside, Mabry. To the inside. Stolen by Jones. Yanescu. Covered by the Shields. Back to Vandersloot. To the middle. And go. There's somebody open the floor that is in Jersey. Vandersloot will find the time on the sky. Play. Time out called the sky. And one of the many impressive things about six foot six John Paul Jones, her three point shot. You go back to a rookie year, she made just 11 threes, but Jones has put so much time into her shot, perfecting it. And then, you know, year three, Jones shot it 47% from deep, second best in the WNBA that year. You know how easy it is here when you see every other rookie players of the of the year play on really well, playing it professionally and they're just getting at things done. You know the, the tough one is right now. I mean, you know when you think about like Jones, how you could definitely play it like that. I mean, everybody is trying to like play as well as she does. But Stewart, I have a lot of agreement to have that when I'm going with the contract of her. She has done a lot of magnificent on display in all of his workability since the rookie year of the season. And you know it wasn't really easy enough for them to like play around that much. It's our head coach right at this moment. They're giving a lot of a little bit of talk in between. They really want to know what's going on. And here in the first approaching three minutes played. Outside Mabry. To the paint. Here's Harrison. It's good. And the assist that time for yes. Diamond Shields. Diamond. And the speed courtesy of the Shields. You know, she's really known as a scorer, but the Diamond is also solid in moving the basketball. Now here's Jones. Stewart, defended by Harrison. Vandersloot outside. And she's good on the three ball. Uh, she put low to work into her shot. Remember, Vandersloot was under 30% from three her rookie year. Now she's close to 40% each season. Here's Mabry. Wyatt so far offensively searching for her first points of the game. Here's Harrison. Up and in. Off to an efficient start. Two for three from the field. Check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates on the same page. And here is Vandersloot. Pass to Jones. Vandersloot. Now Yanescu. Made recovery. And that one good. Yeah, you know, contact can't slow Yanescu down. She sticks with her inside shot and finishes strong. On the wing, Diamond to Shields. Sinks the triple. I'm not sure that was the play they had set up, but it was too good a look to pass up. Pass to Jones. Back to Vandersloot. Jones. She's guarded by Williams. Yanescu outside. Stewart over Harrison. They get it back. 
Now here's Jones. Goes back up. Anderson. Anderson. This part of the court, Anderson jumps it, isn't afraid to put it in for the mid lane. The sky trail. Pass to Harrison. The basket good on the assist for Marina Mayer. No mistake on that one, good work all around. Two bits are in the first two bits. Two bits. Yanescu, covered by the Shields. Deflected, stolen by the Shields. And even after two offensive rebounds, they just can't take the lid off. Yanescu outside. It's stolen by Mabry. Inside. Here's the Shields. Second shot opportunity. Missed inside. This has not been a quarter to remember for her. I mean, what's going on right now? What is this? She's not making any sort of impact for them at that end of the court. And when you look at the game of Courtney Vandersloot, what impresses you the most about her? I would say just her overall basketball IQ. With more than a decade's worth of experience in the league, she is so smart at knowing when to shoot, when to pass, and when to go after steals. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. talk about the best passer in league history, history. it's got to be Courtney Vandersloot, right? Oh yeah, and, and honestly, it's not even a huge debate. Vandersloot normally leads the league so far in New York the best career average ever by far. Probably the most fun player to run with. She hits both from the strike. And Vandersloot's team first mentality does a lot for her team's culture. No wonder players love sharing the hardwood with her. Now here's Allen. Down low. Williams. Good on the bucket. Oh, I love that vision, guys. What a great job threading that pass into the lane. Here's Vandersloot. Burke. To the inside, Thornton. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. Well, Thornton makes dealing with the defense look easy as he shrugs off the contact and gets it to go. Evans with the bucket. Yeah. That was simply a defensive breakdown there. She was all alone for that shot. I, I mean, that's like a warm-up jumper. Now here's Vandersloot. She's got seven. Jones. That shot, no good. Great D that time from Elizabeth Williams. To the middle. Evans with the bucket. Don't be fooled by Evans' 5'6 height. Dana can more than hold her own around the hoop. Vandersloot with it. The three. He got it up in time. That's the end of the first quarter. Your Harmony, 18. Finished the first Jekyll Sky, 16. Leading by just two. After this break, we'll be back with the start of the second quarter on 2K Sports. A close game here at the start of the second quarter of play. And taking a look at the Liberty performance here. Guys, what are your thoughts? I love the hustle. They're showing here in the first. It's showing up on the scoreboard, too. A lot of second chance points. And as you said, it's due to their hustle. Here's Chicago now. Trailing by two. Inside. Team nails. They can't work tight. Well, I categorize Evans as a slower first guard. Her passing skills improve each season in the league. Here's Toby Kish. She's covered by Allen. That's the bird. Toby Kish. Thornton. 
Avenue, right side. Shot clock at five. Three pointer. And the three ball is good. As we head towards the 30th season of the WNBA, what stands out to you guys in terms of the state of the league? Well, to me, it's just how great a position the league is in. We've got exciting young stars, ratings, records being set every single year, and just the overall feeling around the WNBA. I sense that too, that we're all building something, and this thing is continuing to improve. That's what's the most exciting thing for me. I think the best is yet to come. Chicago Bulls to Chicago. Just over a minute gone here in the second quarter. Pass to Harrison. Onion way day. Here's Allen. To the paint, just five on the clock. Harrison gets the bucket. Making use of her physical gifts, Harrison gets through, outworks the contact, and finishes strong. Here's Ionescu. Evans covering. Jones left side. Pass to Doty Kish. Thornton. First and absorb the contact. Yeah, clearly no flop there. That was a direct shot to the chest. And we're about two minutes into the second quarter here. Now Harrison. That falls. Nice to see that time for Dana Evans. And this is where Harrison should look to score. I like her being aggressive inside. New York calls time. Who wants a t-shirt? Well, I mean, the back-to-back -back switch out there, but there is a lot of a great chance out there that if you're trying to work it off, it may do it on the run. And especially true, I need to know that the Liberty are trying to, like, let them show them on it's done. When they think about the sky, they have a good offensive ability, and they, this is a lot of turnovers right this way. Now they had four turnovers for the Liberty, and only one happened to be only the Sky. But happened just that. Yes, yeah, Sky is totally the limit right now. They are just w watching out with the turnovers, right in between the gap of a line. You're not going to find out if, if there is somebody uh, right close toward you. You don't want this to happen like that. If there is another switch off and give up, if somebody else make a little bit of a pick out of it. It's not really easy what they're doing is, but when you're playing like that, you, you got you to gotta do some a lot of like, offense and defense work. That's the competition that has to go with it in between the runs. And coming up later will be the halftime show, so after the first half is finished, we will check out the first half recap. Chicago Sky trying to bottle the block, but it's a close game, however. Let's hope if there is more. Halftime's next after this. Back to you, guys. Stewart, defended by Harrison. Stewart can't hit. Chicago in the lead. Well, a sports family for Isabel Harrison, her father, a pro football player, and a lot of her siblings play at a high level, too. One of 12 kids and 10 of them in college athletics. I mean, you just don't see that all the time. But I love it because her big family has been a great support system through some adversity she's faced over the years. Now, here is Stewart looking for her first basket still in this one. Here's the Shields. Basket made. That's her third of the game. And she's now three for nine. Most would have let that bump disrupt. Not the Shields, a supreme competitor. Pass to Thornton. Stewart with the ball. Stewart gets it to go. She's got so many tricks in her bag. She will find a way to hurt you. Here's on your way day. And again, it's just hot over the three. Trusting in her shot. Or on your way day. Ready to train it. She's got the feet. Jones. She's guarded by Williams. Pass to Thornton. Jones. 
Six to shoot. Outside, Stewart. And the Liberty get it back. And Jones gets the O. As complete a player as they come, Jones has no problems hitting the glass hard, turning misses into mates. Now here's Avery. And there's the three. Three-second violation. Liberty ball. Back on the court, Courtney Vandersloot. New York trailing here. Yanescu, covered by the Shields. Vandersloot, right side. Yanescu. Shoots over to Shields. Courtney outside. Pass to Vandersloot. Shot clock at six. From deep three point range. And Wade A grabs the board. On offense, here the sky. Leading by five. The Shields. And again, it's Chicago with a three. Being able to stretch the floor is so important in today's modern game. The Shields understands that and really works at it. With the bucket. Those are teammates who really know each other's moves very well. And these guys have had some good motion. Good on the first half of the Everybody falls offensively. It's in a way helping you defensively too. Now here is Stewart. Pass to Jones. Back to Inescu. Stewart. Good. And Sabrina Inescu gets the dime. Well, it's pretty simple. You can't let Stewart get to the hoop. She's too tall and skilled to stop. Now here's Harrison. Ten points for her. Now on your way day. Pass to Mabry. Just fine to shoot. Target with the three. Oh, and the fast break for the Liberty. Here's Stewart. The shot, no good. Isabel Harrison with some nice D. Now here's Mabry. Outside the Shields. Last on your way there. Just for a shoot. From about 16, the rebound by the Liberty. Out to the left wing. On the wing, Kayla Thornton. Jones. And the basket is good. Very nice vision to find the open teammate. Thornton, a pretty good passer for a bit. Six second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. And Williams gets it to go. She did so well to lead her teammate right to the ideal spot. That's the kind of playmaking coaches like to see. And here's Thornton. Back to Jones. Yanescu. And Stewart gets it to go. With the defender draped all. That's the end of the first half. You know the liberty. 33. And we're through the first half. Chicago Scott. 35. It's been a good one. Sky out in front, leading by just two. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Time to check out the first half of the game. Little bit falling behind, but there's a sky that's pressured to the limit here, and they are right above it. And there's a great way to have a chance here, but they have it all. I'll start off with you with that fine brush of what New York Liberty did. You know, an easier way, if they love the fans there so much, and they've been playing it so well. The key pressure is not just to any game, but that is just how comfortable it is. And I'm going to use the wood spoony of the sky. Well, they're making comebacks out there. I mean, they're really doing so well. Keep that one rolling in there. You're never going to get that one losing it. You're going to need to make sure you have it all. And that's it, dude. Give it a halftime show. Let's get back on court. All to you, Blake. 
And it's been a back and forth game with no ground given through the first half. Third quarter getting started here. We're seeing a tremendous game from Diamond to Shields. She tore it up on the offensive glass in the first two quarters. Full efforts. Yeah, she was incredibly persistent, and that's what it takes to be a successful offensive rebounder. And look, she's making bigs all around the world proud with her play. Welcome back. The second half about to get underway, and it's been a close one so far. Over to the wing. Here's Anya Moide. Here's Williams. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it and shows one more at the line. Well, the topic of rest has been huge in professional basketball. How important is it, guys? Well, as the league continues to add it games, line, it's, it's fine, especially for those older players. Remember, it's all about that ring. It's all about winning it all. Pacing yourself during the regular season. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you don't want to overextend your vets, but you also don't want to work your stars into the ground. It's tough to manage, but a strong supporting cast is the best rest. Here's Vandersloot. Outside Stewart. On the wing, Kayla Thornton. Jones left side. Vandersloot outside. Five on the clock. Pass to Thornton. That's the three fly. Offensive board. Out to Vandersloot. On the wing, Kayla Thornton. Here's Stewart, Jones left side. Good, and Brianna Stewart gets the assist. Rushing off the defense, this is why Jones is so loved in the locker room. She is so tough out there, tough to guard, just a great teammate. Now here's the Shields. 11 points in the game. Here's Williams, doesn't get it to drop for it. Good defensive work by John Quell Jones. Six on the game. And welcome to the current WNBA. Players like Jones, tall, great handle, so much skill. What an evolution. Big. And that's out of bounds. Chicago, Chicago Five, five ball. Substitution for your New York Liberty. Kennedy Burke. and she's become a great WNBA player. He's perfect from the line this time. Just over a minute and a half played in the third. On your way to covering. Solid play all around. Uh, 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 Maybe has a pretty sharp passing game. She won't let an open shot go to waste. Timeout called the Liberty. Well, they want to tinker with the game plan a little bit, and now's the time to do it. Yeah, there was clearly some things going on out there that the coaching staff just wasn't a fan of. 
The WNBA on 2K Sports is brought to you by CarMax, the official car provider of the NBA and WNBA. Nike, winning isn't for everyone. And by AT&T, connecting changes everything. And folks, if you have some time right now, we have some great ones to take. We have some new reaction videos coming in soon as we have is the home school for Haminations. Also, you'll be able to see one of the, the best ones to take in here because of a call code is back. And we are we couldn't be appreciated to everyone who was here with us. But don't be sticking fooled if you will find it things out only on centerpiece. Now get back in the action to play. Two minutes gone in this third quarter now. And a shot goes in. They take really creative off each other now on Sergio. And this must have been some kind of speech at halftime as both sides have picked things up. What do you think the coaches were saying, Tim? Now here's Evans. He has five. Ask Williams. Drops in the layup off the glass. A streaky score. Williams is on tonight. Watch out. Jones outside. Outside Stewart. Pass to Burke. Just three to shoot. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. And was able to still pick up the pass and get the assist. Evans with it. Anya Nwede. Williams inside. Stewart's there. I'll bet you haven't seen too many rebounding efforts like this. It takes an extraordinary combination of talent and desire to put in the kind of performance she has today. Now here's Jones. She's got 10. Vandersloot. The shot's good on the assistant by John Bell Jones. Assistant by Yes, the veteran. Vandersloot hitting that one. Chicago trailing here. Back in 2021, so Jones was the second international player to win MVP. And remember, Jones wasn't a top five pick. She went to a mid-major college. But no one is how it works for John Bell Jones. That is how she's become one of the best players in the world. Time called here, the sky decided to talk it over. Not even the crush of cigars out there, but there's a lot of great takes on that. And you were expecting that plane out there to Stewart? Everybody loves that one anyway. Just to say it is now, I mean, can't even tell you what this is, what the bigger one is, playing all curricular motion. to challenge the interior of that defense. Carter is fearless. Outside Stewart. Right wing. Anderson outside. Hands out ball that she misses. Hands on Allen. Yeah, she's getting at about an 80 percent clip over her career at the line. Vandersloot, one of the last players who lost out. On the night, she's two for two at the strike. And the first one at the line is good. 
That three off the mark. Let's talk about hurting your team. He just can't get anything to fall out there. Once Stewart gets a beautiful, you know she's feeling it. And the whistle blows. Oh, that's a foul. Marina Mabry. That's her first foul. Liberty ball. Perfect defensive play. Cut her off. Squared up. Nice play. Yeah, not showing some toughness on defense. Getting physical, sticking her nose in there, and making a play. To the wing on the left. On your way to cover Jones outside. Yanescu can't get it to go. Well, good defense in the paint. Worth its weight in gold. It absolutely is. And you just saw it right there. It went, without her presence, that's an easy two points. Now here is Stewart. Pass to Dobie Fish. Over Mabry. She claims that ball on the back iron and it falls. And so it's Chicago with it. It's a 13-point game. Outside the Shields. Close one up. The bucket is good. The Shields. Here's Ionescu. Pass to Doby Fish. Now here's Jones. Outside. Pocket six. Trails the three pointer. A lethal sniper from outside the Chicago Skies. Has to rush Yanescu and run it off that three point line. Now a timeout called by Chicago. It was tremendous. New York Liberty on a streak out. Looks like this is a little bit of a problem to have the first half, but the second half is coming really better. Yes, it is. I've always seen what goes on now. This is really what they are expecting to let Liberty do this one to God. Have it all coming in. And now with the next, come, next game coming up, we will have that one on the other side. As we've got one of our next games that we have it on the list. We've got Dallas Wings facing against the Seattle Storm. That's happening here at Climate Pledge Arena. Where the Seattle Kraken plays here. Flying along with the next team as we have is the Atlanta Dreams facing against the Connecticut Suns on the other side. And then flying along with the next one is the Mystics versus the Indiana Fever. All for one of its Caitlin Clark. And finally, it's the Lynx versus the Sparks. Keep your eyes peeled every day of the week, only on Sun and Beats. Don't miss out with your best games to get there. Enjoy your show. Now back over to you, Blake. It's all yours. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone. Pass to Harrison. On your way, Dave. To the inside, Williams. The lead pass was put in just the right spot to produce the layup. Well, Williams is a center who battles inside, and she's not a player who would be seen jacking up too many threes. That one, good for two. It would be very sound offensively in the second half. And there's really no comparison between the teams in terms of the way they both shot the ball since the break. You kind of wonder what was one team talking about in the locker room and, and what was the other two She is setting this place on fire. Her shooting has been off the charts. Now here's Ionescu, covered by the Shields. Ionescu, covered by the Shields. Baseline try, and the Liberty getting a closer bucket right there. Not ignoring the middle part of the court. The more of these that Ionescu hits, the more space she'll get to operate. Now here's Mabry. Pass to the Shields. Back to Mabry. Puts up a three. Knocks down the three ball. Look, I'm not sure who was supposed to pick her up, but someone's going to get an earful from the coach for leaving her that wide open. Now Doby Kish. Yanescu has it. Covered by the Shields. Now 
outside, Stewart. Cody Kish. Down low. Lays it up and makes it in. He placed that pass right out in front of her and just let her run into it. Here's Chicago now. Outside to Shields. Watches it. And again, Chicago with a three. A quick thinker who does not need much time to get off a look. The Shields is a lethal shooter. Pass to Dewey Kish. Back to Inescu. And stolen by Diamond to Shields. With that one, the lead is stripped of single digits. Contact. And so much attention from the opposition. The Shields game is years ahead of the gun. WNBA Pierce. New York calls timeout. Man, Diamond the Shields already been snapping it out already. I mean, this is like, really kind of like an epic comeback that day. Yeah, I just want, well, I, I wouldn't even expecting how this is going to let that shine so they get better day, but that is just how crazy it is, it's going to be like, what is this? Well, the back-to-back -back on the scores is now 72 to 64, so we probably may not know what's going to happen. Oh boy, if something changes now, it's going to be one tough change. Not even anybody else is doing a completely getting the things done. Well, not really anybody, but does it for all. Now let's see what takes in if the sky can get closer to the edge before the end of the regulation game of the quarter. We'll find out if there is. And they can burn some clock if they want. And calm down, get a little breather here too. On your way to a covering. Outside, Stewart. Out to the wing. Five to shoot. On ball Jones from long range. There he is, the long range cover. So accurate indeed. Jockwell Jones has finished top three in the league multiple times in three point shooting. Mabry with it. Stewart's there. Kicks it out to the shield. The basket good off the assist from Marina Mabry. She's made an impact with the three-point shot today. And guess what? That's another big one. Yeah, and that's where she's been getting her points. And with a couple more out there, man, we've really got a ball game on our hands. Pass to Vandersloot. Now here's Jones. She's guarded by Williams. And that one's good, Jones. Well, from this area, if Jones gets any room, any space, the ball's going in. And here's on your way, Dave. Here's Harrison. Got well, Jones with the block. Thanks for watching. See you later, everybody. All right. Thank you.
you so much. And this one was an epic, epic jury to give that one a great comeback in the second half. Definitely it is right now. New York Liberty are biggest of the night. Here's how they do it. The total statistics are in between of the Liberty and the Sky. 67 field goals for New York Liberty. Then it was 42 percentage for the free pointers for the Chicago Sky. Perfect free throws for New York Liberty. And then it was 9 fast break points for the Sky. 46 for points in the paint for New York Liberty with 12 second chance points. Both teams definitely had 11 punch points between the Sky and the Liberty. 39 and 20 assist rebounds of, of offense and defense for New York Liberty. Been doing really well. Four steals trying to be only the Sky to happen. Only two blocks happened to be to Kale Jones. Well play out there. Three turnovers for the Chicago Sky and only eight points off that they did. And then it was two team fouls both in between. 14 biggest lead and 16.01 was the time procession for New York Liberty. Now it's time for the three star players of the game of the WMBI. First up, I give a good start on this head count. I give it over to you, Wood Spoonie. Your take. All right, thank you so much. Time to see what goes in. The first one up, I have it all started up here. We've got a great one to have a great, excellent takeover. It's just a great one. Elizabeth Williams has received 17 points, 3 rebounds, 7 out of 9 field goals at the range, 17 performance effort. Just gotten really well better at it. Number 2, as I go on the other side, i got a great one to show you. Jack Q. Jones. 2 blocks in the game with 1 steal and 6 assists. 14 rebounds and 19 points in a game. 9 out of 10 field goals and with only one three-pointer at only 34 full performance effort. He's doing it, she's excellent. Playing secure, definitely took in a steal everywhere. And your number one star to play in a game for the Chicago Sky, it's Diamond Deshaves. 21 points, I mean, out of 19 field goals, 9 out of 5 out of 9 three-pointers with 26 performance output. Four rebounds, two assists, and two steals. Turning great, epic and a jury. And that's going to do here, there, folks. I hope you enjoyed the second game of the Sky versus the Liberty. The next game we will have is the Wings along with the other team, the Seattle Storm. That's going to be the next game on its way soon. And don't forget, you can subscribe to this channel. Keep your eyes out here for our next video coming up. In the meantime, that's it for the WNBA game. We'll see you all again next time. Peace out for a while as the regular season of the WNBA on 2K Sports Style. This is Paintbrush on Wood Spirit along with the commentators. Thank you for watching. Good night, everybody. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.